Ukrainians are hunkering down for what is shaping up to be a brutal winter. Volunteers build wood stoves so civilians near the front lines can stay warm, sheltering in their homes from incoming Russian attacks. But the latest barrage from Moscow involves an apparent smear campaign, accusing Ukraine of preparing to use dirty bombs, which have radioactive materials. We have never had, do not have, and do not plan to develop any dirty bombs. Russian officials have been making these allegations for a few days now and brought their case to the UN during a private Security Council meeting. We know that Zelensky regime uh, wants to avoid, uh, first of all, defeat. Secondly, wants to involve uh, NATO for direct uh, clash with Russia, which is very dangerous. Western allies are rejecting the claims outright. This is pure Russian misinformation of the kind we've seen many times before, uh, and it should stop. Russian President Vladimir Putin has routinely used this kind of false flag strategy in the past, accusing an opponent of doing the very thing he's about to do. And that has the U.S. and allies on high alert. I'm not guaranteeing you that it's a false flag operation yet. We don't know. But uh, it would be a serious, serious mistake. A nuclear weapon is far more devastating than a dirty bomb, but a dirty bomb can cause long-term problems by showering radioactive particles where it strikes. You could spread it over an area of several square blocks, contaminating the area, not killing many people, but making the area uninhabitable because ingestion of those radioactive particles will give you cancer. The Pentagon says as far as it can tell, Russia has not made a decision about using a dirty bomb. Though the rhetoric caused so much concern, Secretary of State Antony Blinken had two emergency phone calls with his Russian counterpart. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.